So day 84, all packed up and back out on trail. So I uh, slept good at that little stealth spot last night. Uh, must have been an old road bed or trail or something, uh, cause uh, it's a nice relatively flat spot and uh, all the rocks had been moved off to the side for quite a distance there, so. Uh, today, uh, chance of rain pretty much all day. As you can probably tell, it's pretty cloudy out. <laughs> Uh, but it's, uh, just rain showers, I think it said, so not, uh, not anything too massive, it didn't sound like, so that's good. For, uh, for terrain, we do have some climbs today, a few of them, but nothing real massive. Uh, I think the biggest one looked to be like around a thousand foot climb, so that's okay. And the good thing is, is... A fair amount of flat terrain in between those climbs, so we'll have decent little breaks in between. So that makes it nice. So, anyways, we're gonna wander on down the trail and see what we can get done today. Yeah, well, I'm done canning. I forgot to mention uh, I had a resupply package sent to me with some new gear. Uh, well, not new gear, but new to this trip. I've owned it for a while, but. Uh, the first thing you probably noticed in yesterday's video <laughs> is this bright blue rain jacket. Uh, so yeah, I sent home the Patagonia one, which is quite a bit heavier. Worked great though during the colder months. Kept me really warm, so really glad I started out with that. But now with the war warmer months of here, I switched out to this lighter weight uh, outdoor research jacket. So uh, The second thing is I sent home my 20 degree quilt and had my 40 degree one sent to me along with the bag liner so that'll work out good for the warmer months as well It'll give me the option i can use just the the uh, sleeping bag or quilt uh it, or or the uh, bag liner or I can, if it's a little colder i can combine the two to get a little extra warmth so that will work out great Okay, this is where I was originally planning on making it last night, but stopped a little short. This is the junction of the Horseshoe Trail to the Appalachian Trail. A little plaque there. Uh, but yeah, there's a few, a couple decent little campsites here, but I think I liked mine just as well, if not better. Ooh, stopped back there at that stream to get some water to mix up my powdered milk for my granola and fingers got chilly <laughs> a little tingly oh god what a temperature swing from just a few days ago so it's around 10 30 and so far it's been a fairly uneventful day <laughs> rain's held off which is great uh, terrain's been fairly flat, really. A uh, few rocks, but not bad. Uh, so, anyways, in about a mile, there's a shelter. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Roush, maybe? Roush Gap? Uh, in either case, we're going to stop in there. Supposedly, there's, there's a nice uh, spring down in there. So, we'll get some water and probably have some lunch. And then continue on, see what the afternoon has to offer. All right, guess we won't have to go down into that shelter. We got this nice little brook here. Didn't show up on my gut hooks at for some reason. Campsite here and everything, so we'll sit here and have lunch.
Well, apparently the beavers have been busy at work. So, see if we can get through here without getting our feet too soaked. This area right through here isn't bad until you get up here a little further. Ah, uh, crap. I'm gonna get our feet soaked, I'm afraid. All right, I'm gonna put the phone up before that gets soaked too. There, well, my feet stayed surprisingly dry. <laughs> There's enough sticks and logs and things to step on to mostly keep them out of the mud and water. So that's good. Yeah, that was really good trail magic. Uh, had hamburger, uh, chips, cookies, watermelon, cold drinks, you name it, they had it there, so that was awesome. Oh, a little chilly when you stop, though. <laughs> it's in the, actually in the 40s today, uh, which is quite a change from just a few days ago. <laughs> in the 80s and low 90s. Ooh, quite a little shock to the body, but... Uh, when you're moving, it's very nice. The rain's supposed to let up here. Uh, not that it's been raining heavy, just steady showers. So I think it's supposed to let up here in a little bit, which will be kind of nice. Although we really do need the rain uh, uh, down here because it's been very, very dry. But. Quite the old bridge here that we're crossing. It says built by the Berlin Iron Bridge Company, East Berlin, Connecticut. Huh. Fancy. Very cool. There, just stopped to have a little break. Uh, in about five miles, there's a water source with some camping around it. That's, I think, might be where I'm gonna push to for today. Uh, it's right around four o'clock, so like I say, another five miles or so. I think we should be able to do that. I don't think the train's looking too too bad, so uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I probably have enough water to make it through the night anyways. Uh, but it'd be nice to get there just just to get a few more miles in basically so it has stopped raining uh, water is still dripping off the trees but that's all it's doing so uh, anyways so yeah I'm gonna sit here for a couple minutes take a little break and then we'll continue on Well, starting to see some of the infamous Pennsylvania rocks, I think. <laughs> Little rock fields here. Oh, geez, slippery too. So as I pick my way through these rocks, <laughs> they've started to show up here. I was wondering when they were going to start. So anyways, <laughs> and under just under a couple miles, uh, there's the William Penn Shelter. And apparently across from that is a decent sized tenting area and also a water source. So it's around quarter past five. So that's kind of my plan to get there and uh, and find a decent spot, hopefully. So that'll end up giving us a 23.4 mile day. So be happy with that. Uh, so anyways, yeah, the rain's light up and I think it's supposed to be nice tomorrow as well. So that will be good. Hopefully dry out these rocks because they're kind of slick. <laughs> so, so anyways, thanks once again guys for watching, following along, commenting. I really appreciate it and I'll see you tomorrow.